Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.1 which is the latest update from Apple and it's coming out to the public really really soon. Now we are just a few days from the public release of iOS 18.1 and this is just an amazing update. So in this video we're going to talk all about this new update. I will show you guys why this is one of the best updates that we had to iOS in the last few years. Not only the new Apple intelligence features, but there's a lot more to this update. And then we're going to talk also about some features that we didn't talk about on the previous videos. Now, first of all, let me show you guys why this is a great update. Just take a look at the performance score right here. This is the best score that I got on this device. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I had it since the release of iOS 17, of course, and all the tests that I have done through the betas of iOS 17, 18, and all that stuff, every update that I had installed on this device, I never got this score. This is just great. Take a look at the single core score there. It is at 2,944, an amazing score. And comparing it to the last beta, you can see we have here a slight increase. But when you take a look at the multi-core score, this is the last beta. This was beta 6 of iOS 18.1. And you can see the huge improvement here. So it's at 7,356 here with the latest beta and it was 7061 with beta 6 so we have a 300 score improvement right here which is an amazing and we're still on beta we have a couple weeks more and this should be improved even more with the next releases now one thing that has surprised me a lot when it comes to ios 18.1 is the battery life now of course you will get amazing battery life on older devices but with the iphone 15 pros and the iphone 16 series and the new apple intelligence features they will require quite a lot of cpu power that way of course consuming more battery and i have been using those features daily mostly for my videos the email ones i have been using for my emails a lot so that's an amazing feature to have but also the battery here is a very good so you can see the battery health is currently at 91 percent on this device and you can see the battery life that we got on this device 75 percent of battery eight hours 55 minutes then we have here about 90 percent battery six hours 50 minutes again 75 percent battery eight hours right there and then here we have nine hours 63 minutes with almost 100 percent battery life so it's actually great on performance and battery life as well and now let's talk about some of the new features and changes that we haven't talked about that Apple has added to iOS 18.1 and those don't have actually to do anything with Apple intelligence. These are features that also other users will get on their device with this release. Now, first of all, when you go to your iCloud account at the top of your settings app and you go to your sign in and security settings, you will now have the ability to add an email or phone number. And you can see right here, it says, that these email addresses and phone numbers can be used to sign in to verify your identity and also help you recover your your account of course if you forget your passcode they can also be used to reach you on iMessage FaceTime and Game Center so you can now add have like secondary emails or phone numbers on your iCloud account and when you see the list of your emails and phone numbers right there you will be able to choose which is your primary one we also have a change here on the home screen with the widget for the clock. So the digital clock widget, when you add it to your home screen and you have your icons tint, then this will become transparent. So it has like that transparency look, which is actually pretty cool. I uh, would love that would, if Apple would have done this to a lot more widgets or maybe all of them. So when you actually tint the home screen, they would actually get this look, it looks in my opinion, much, much better and it suits the tint much better this way. Another thing that we have talked about is the new badges for the notifications. Now, why am I pointing out this feature is that this is actually not a feature just for the iPhones that have Apple intelligence. This will be a feature on all devices. Every device that gets iOS 18.1 will have this feature. It used to be previously only on summarized notifications where it would show you 
how many notifications have been summarized. Now this will be a part of all the different devices that have iOS 18.1 and not just Apple intelligence. And Snapchat has finally gotten the dark mode icon for iOS 18 so it will actually look much much better now because when you actually would go to the dark mode icons that snapchat yellow would stand out a lot but now it has actually the icon for dark mode so let's, let me just show you here so if we go to the dark mode you can see that now we have a dark mode for snapchat as well it actually looks pretty cool also when you go to your control center and go to add a toggle you will now have toggles to capture and to launch a Snapchat from here. And now let's talk about updates. Well, iOS 18.1 is currently on its last beta. It will be released on its RC version next week. So the RC version of iOS 18.1 should come out on the 21st of October. And then of course, right after that, we will have the public release of iOS 18.1. And that should happen right here. The rumors are that it will happen on the 28th of October. That will be the date, of course, when everyone will get iOS 18.1 and people with the newer devices will also get the amazing new Apple intelligence features. But should you update or not, of course you should. This is an amazing update with a ton of new features, even though you might not be getting the AI features, there will be a ton of different features that you will love. But how to update and what you should do if you're currently on beta? Well, if you're on beta seven right now, next week you will be able to update to the rc version which means that by updating to the rc version you already have the final release of ios 18.1 on your device but if you just like or prefer to actually update to the public version and not to the rc then this is the time for you to go to the settings app and then go to general right here go under software update and then you go here to your beta updates and just turn them off and then you won't get the rc version but you will get the public version of iOS 18.1 once it's released to the public on the 28th of October. So what's next for iOS 18? Well, iOS 18.2 should be released on its first beta very, very soon. Now, Apple will probably release iOS 18.2 to the public before Christmas. So we can expect iOS 18.2 to go on beta as soon as 29th or the 30th of October. I think that once Apple is actually done with iOS 18.1 and they have released it to the public, then we can expect the first beta of iOS 18.2 being released right here on the 29th or the 30th of October. Of course, this should bring more Apple intelligence features and other features to iOS 18. And most likely we will have a public release of iOS 18.2 towards the end of December, most likely right here somewhere like on the 16th, maybe in, even on the 23rd, but I don't think Apple will wait that long for this update. But the 16th or 17th of December might be one of the dates when we get iOS 18.2 released. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.